In this video, we're going to learn how to add and subtract decimal numbers. Let's start with the first example where we need to add 2.31 and 5.83. To add decimals, we stack them so that the decimal points align. So for example, if I write 2.31, then decimal 5.83 should be placed in such way so that the decimal points align. So 5.83. Then we're going to add all those digits. So 1 plus 3 gives us 4. 3 plus 8 gives us 11, right? So I'm going to write down 1 and I'm going to carry over 1. And then we'll have 2 plus 5, that's 7. 7 plus 1, that's 8. And that's where we're going to get the answer. And what's important is that the decimal in the answer is also aligned. So the answer is 8.14. Let's try it with subtraction. The rule is the same. We're going to stack the numbers and align the decimal points. So I'm going to start with the first number, 17.935, 17.935. Now when I position the second number, I want to make sure that I align decimal points. So that means that 2 has to be placed here and then 6 and 5 right here. So the decimal points are aligned, including the decimal point in the answer. So I'm subtracting now, I just have to perform regular subtraction. So 5 minus, well, nothing here, so that's just 5. 3 minus 5, I can't subtract, so I have to borrow. So I get 8, and then I'm placing 1 here, so it's 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5 is 8. Now it's 8 minus 6, 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 1, I'm just going to bring down. So the answer is 15. 0.285. Now let's use a few more examples to practice. Notice that I don't have those boxes anymore, so I have to align numbers myself. Well, in example C, we have three numbers we have to add. So let me start lining them up. 9.37. Next one is 8.7. I'm stacking the numbers in such a way that the decimal points are aligned. So that's where I have to write 8.7. Next one is 6.68, 6.68, and I'm adding those three. Notice that my second number is a little bit shorter than the other two, um, and, and if that happens, I can always can use zero as the placeholder. Now I'm going to add 7 plus 0 plus 8, that's 15, I'm writing 5, carrying over 1, 3 plus 7, that's 10 plus 6, it's 16, 16 plus 1, 17, I'm writing 7, carry over 1, and finally 9 plus 8, that's 17, plus 6, 23, plus 1, 24, 24. And where do I place decimal point in the answer? Well, it has to be right underneath the other decimal points. So right here, the decimal points must be aligned. So the answer is 24.75, 24 and 7,500. And the last example is to subtract 8.9 and 5. 0.864. Once again, I align decimal points and I'm going to be subtracting. Well, the first number has less digits, I will be using zeros as placeholders. Let's subtract. So I can't subtract 4 from 0, I have to borrow. Next to 0, is there another 0? I have to keep moving, so 9. I'll borrow 1 from 9, so I will have 8 that's left, so now here I have 10, and that gives me enough so that I can now place 1 over here and, and subtract. 
10 minus 4 is 6, 9 minus 6 is 3, 8 minus 8 is 0, 8 minus 5 is 3. I am aligning decimal points, it means that in the answer, decimal point will be right here. So the answer is 3.036. That's how we add and subtract decimal numbers. We stack them and align decimal points.